there's only one thing there's only one thing I can say about this Eagles loss execution 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 um, I don't think it I don't want to put this loss uh, you know solely on Jalen Hurts he did as much as he could he was a leading rusher um, you know he you know uh, he threw was it three pick through three picks I guess they changed one of the picks into a he had three 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 interceptions um, you know he had you know he was sacked twice but he was doing everything he could to elude um, you know the pass rush. I don't think the Jets did anything wildly to to that made us like say, okay, this this, this team is better. I think mainly we didn't you no, know, we didn't play well. Smitty, I, after I gave Smitty the 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 credit, you're not passing the ball. He gets 11 targets, and what happens? He drops three, two or three critical, two critical ones. Um, not happy with it. I know he's not happy with himself. Um, AJ Brown, you know, he played solid. Uh, you know, he played solid most of the time. Um, Jalen Hurst was trying to spread the ball out, made made some crucial mistakes. Um, uh, you know, I, and, and with Jalen with Jalen Hurts, sorry, Jalen Hurts, with Jalen Hurts, the main thing with him, he has to and this is what most quarterbacks, and I'll talk I'll talk deeper about this, you know, in, in another video. But the elite level quarterback play and inability to be patient with the game, let the game come to you, take what's given to you. Understanding down distance, this is where that this is what's going to take him to the elite level of quarterback, um, of, cor of 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 quarterback play. And when we got the ball back at 146, with 146 left, there was no fear in the Jets' eyes, right? If Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees had that towards the end of the game, the other team's fearing. We left them too much time, right? And they'll close the game out, leaving the other the other quarterback with no time left. With Jalen Hurts, it wasn't that kind of mode of operation. It was kind of doubt. It was kind of confidence on the Jets' side. And that confidence lets, makes guys play better. I don't think it was merely play calling. I think it was Jalen Hurts missing. But we didn't lose the game because of that. We lost the game because we, we had four turnovers. Dre Swift, you know, we, we talked about him. Ever since ever since we talked about Dre Swift, uh, Swift, he's 10 for 18. He got a first down late in the, first, in, 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 in the fourth quarter, and he's like, Saying, get off of me. Bro, you've been you've been you had you had 10 carries 18 yards. Calm down. And then he fumbled the ball. Um I don't think it was necessarily our guys not getting open either. I just think that, you know, the the drops were were insane. Um the quarterback play wasn't top tier. In a game like this, you want top tier quarterback play. Zach Wilson did nothing. He didn't throw a touchdown pass. You know, he you know, he didn't rush for a touchdown. He was 19 for 33, 186 yards. Um he didn't do anything that made us, you know, like like crazy. And the defense didn't do anything as well either. We didn't execute in the red zone. We we kicked field goals. We didn't, you know, we started to kick field goals. We didn't execute in the red zone. Um, we turned the ball over. Um, and these are big things. Jake Elliott, we talked about, missed a kick, missed an easy kick he could have made, and that could have changed the dynamic of how we approached the game and how the Jets approached the game. Because if we kick a field goal, that last play, that if we kick a field goal, then we're then we're up, we're up by. Um, we're up by by four points, and it forces the Jet five points. It forces the Jets to score a touchdown instead of us just letting them in to actually make a play when their offense was pretty much, you know, pretty much doing nothing all game. The offense did really. The defense played amazing. The all you know as far as how many plays they had and how much they were on the field. Our offense didn't do much. I don't put it on Brian Johnson. I think Brian Johnson played the right calls. I think our execution was just off. Of course, Lane Johnson going down, and I'm not sure how Lane Johnson. Lane Johnson, uh, um, you know, uh, is going to be out for. Um, he said the injury is not that serious and better than originally thought. We know he's been battling a growing injury over years, and typically that whole posterior chain area is affected when, um, you know, you, something like that happens for a guy like him. We know he probably has maybe one year left. Um, but, uh, you know, that was a big difference. I don't think it really changed the dynamic of the game too much. Because Jalen Hurts was eluding, uh, eluding the uh, the pass rush, um, he's like get the ball out quicker, and that's the biggest thing for him. Get the ball out quicker, execute, execute, execute. We were missing two. Our defense played great, and as, our defense really wasn't the problem. Our defense played great without our two best defensive players out. Well, two of our best defensive players out. We have Darius Slay, who I think is our best defensive player, and then we had we had uh, Jalen Carter who was out. But they didn't have 100 yards on the ground, and they didn't have over two yards, 200 yards passing. This team had total yards. If I go to the if I go to the team stat, if you look, if you look at this game, you say the Eagles should have won it. Um, they had 244 total yards. We had 70 plays compared to the 59 plays. Um, 
We were seven for fourteen on fourth down. Fourth down, they were two for two for eleven. Uh, we averaged five yards of play. They averaged four yards of play. Um, we beat. We had more passing. Had less rushing. Um, but we we had we were penalized five times compared to their nine for sixty eight. We were five for forty six. We lost one column. Column four turnovers. Time, time possession was pretty much split. But our defense was playing solid. We turned the ball over. And partially that's Jalen Hurts' fault, and that's partially and partially that's our receivers not catching the ball the first time. Um, so, you know, I, I I can't blame anything. This loss, we lost this game. Justin didn't win this game, um, but on the win column, they won the game. Um, execution is going to be a big thing, and we have to focus and be and, and focus on executing because that's a huge problem for us. Um, I was really mad at Jalen Hurts during the game. He made a lot of bonehead moves. Um, I really want to see how his post-game pressure was going to be if he took responsibility. Um, I'm happy he took responsibility for his action, talking about his play. I'm happy Smade did as well, too. They said that Nick Sirianni didn't even really kind of adjust the, address the team. The players did. Um, I think they know what they did. Uh, but you want individuals, especially your main quarterback, to take responsibility. You say, hey, look, I messed up. When you see that, the team can respect the guy a little bit more. But I think it's not like, hey, look, it's a loss that we need to have. I think that it's it's a loss that's going to hopefully re-trigger us. Uh, I think that we can fare well against uh, against against Miami. I think that we you know get us going against Miami is not something I'm too afraid of. Um, you know I think that we have a good chance against. I think we can. I think we're better than Miami. Um, but I think that this can be a good game for us on you know Sunday night football game on NBC. Uh, we you know. I think our secondary. Hopefully, we have Slay back. That's gonna be that's gonna be big. Uh, but our pass rush is going ideally is gonna suffocate Tua. You know, if we can suffocate Tua, we get some of our guys back. You know, defense plays solid. We stop the run. I think that we're, we'll be fine because our deep, I feel like our offense is gonna walk around the chip on our shoulder and put up some points. So, um, execution is a big thing. I don't think that's something necessarily we need to worry about. Um, you know, we hit the game. We hit. We hit the. We hit the ground running with the Dolphins, the Commanders, the Cowboys, and Chiefs, and Bills, and Fortnite. We have a, a toughest schedule in the NFL. But we we walk out this this mid this midseason slate. I think it's going to say a lot about who we are um, coming out coming out of these next couple of games. And I'm happy we have these games to test our test us early earlier rather than later in the season.